Hello everyone, Sam here. And Angela, and welcome to our channel. Welcome to another video of us building our Tennessee homestead. Today we have something fun and very homesteady planned for you guys. What are we going to do today? It's something that I've always wanted and never really had. We are going to build our little mini orchard. Okay, build as in plant the trees in the ground. <laughs> We're going to be digging some holes. Woo, let's go. We are up here in our, uh, I don't know, I'll say front yard or front field. It, it feels huge compared to what we're used to. But we're up here and close to the road, kind of close. You can see the gate behind us. What is our plan of attack? What is the plan for Stan? Well, we are going to be getting a fence to go right at the road. So we're going to kind of ballpark where that fence is going to be and measure off of it to kind of get our first row of trees. So we're going to use some flags and kind of map out a little bit of where the first row is going to be. That way Sam can use the trail mower and get us cut down a little bit easier for digging and stuff. Yeah, plus it kind of also reminds us or anyone who may come through the area um, as our home is constructed or moved as far as being on our property that there is something here, probably don't drive through it, and we're just trying our best to preserve them. So. Right. All right, so if we can get up over the bike. Whee. So what we're doing is we have our 100 foot tape measure set to 30 feet and we are walking, pretty much I am where the fence is going to be. Angela is out there at the 30 foot point. That's where we're gonna start the first row of trees. That way it gives us pretty much about 45 feet off the road, but most importantly, 30 feet off of the power lines, which is right what I'm walking under right now. That way we are well outside of the utility company's right of ways and they don't come hack our orchard apart. How far are we going? I'm just yakking. <laughs> I'm right below the line. Such hard work. Good. There we go. There is our first row. That's where it's going to start. And it's going to go from Angela towards our garden, towards the camper and the workshop. All right, we have our rows flagged out. I was just holding the tape measure and walking around. You were the brains behind this operation. We went ahead and gave four rows just in case we decide to do it that way. I don't know. So we have enough. Yeah. And we will also have enough room to add on later if we want to. So now you get to ride and zip us some strips. I'm going to start zipping strips then. <laughs> Where's the strip zipper? It just doesn't want to quit. <laughs> there we go. That earthquake mower made super quick work of this. It actually does really, really good. I know it's a rough cut brush mower, but I mean, hey, it looks pretty good out here in the field with all the grass and everything we got. It cuts clean and we've got ourselves some nice rows that we can now lay out space and plant our orchard. Cool. I'm gonna leave this hooked up because I will probably do a lot more mowing with this today. Might as well, it's out, sun's out and the grass is tall. We're going to go ahead, since Sam has mowed, I'm going to space out the trees about 20 feet apart. So everywhere we put a flag, we are going to plant a tree. We're going to start from the front or at the road and fill in from there. That way I have room to add on later when need be.
I'm going to do to be the digging man to dig the holes for the plants. Are you? You want to yep. dig all of them? Mm-hmm. How are you going to dig? Show us a little bit of skills. You have to do that and put your feet on here and jump and pull it up. And don't, make sure it don't get in the hole. There you go. That's how you dig, right? Mm-hmm. Cool. All right, we have all of our flags flagged out. <laughs> we um, decided to do like, I guess a staggered pattern. Um, so if you got, what well, we have five per row? Yeah. So there's five and then there's four that are, I mean staggered, I hopefully that makes sense. It does. So you've uh, sorted your trees. How yes. many of what do we have and what's the plan for that? We have six pear and eight apple. Um, there's like kind of two varieties each. I think apple there might be a little more but we're gonna go ahead and pair them together <laughs> <laughs> I like that and um, so keep the pears on one side keep the apples on the other and then as we add on to the orchard we'll be able to keep pears to their side and apples to their side yeah so. which it's worth saying that we mowed and we flagged more spots than the trees we have so it sounds like we may very soon be going back and get more trees found another place um, in east tennessee that has a lot of these same trees listed for sale so that was cool yes nine dollars a piece i mean it's not really worth linking it because it's kind of like a yard sale flea market and probably by the time you guys see this they'll probably be gone so sorry to rain on your parade but for us we're hoping to go ahead and stack some more and really fill this out at that point when we fill it out how many trees would we have up here um 20. 20 nice and it's like feels like a small little corner of the property that's what i want though i want my own little orchard at the side and mm -hmm. it's going to be right near the garden not too near that it's going to shade it or anything but you know we have our little homestead area oh yeah so let's go okay go on by. All right, there is science to digging holes for trees, but this is not the channel to learn about science for digging holes for trees. We are just going to dig the hole and sit the tree in it. This whole property was soybean field and before that it was corn. So this is very, very good looking tillable soft soil. So we're just gonna dig, plop and drop. And honestly, we think they're gonna do great because the soil up here is really nice. So let's just dig a hole, plop and drop a tree. Me, it's doing make a travel back and forth. Can you tear apart the bag at the scene? I got to need it. So, this is the graft area? Mm -hmm. Got to keep the graft above ground. Can you step it? Uh, I wouldn't step it too much. Yeah, a little lightly.
What in the world? <laughs> this is what happens when you use your hands instead of a shovel. Hey, you know I what? I got a rooster tail. You got a rooster tail. <laughs> I lost my hat because the wind. Hey, the wind feels good out here. This whole day feels good. I mean, it's beautiful weather, it's nice breeze, and we've got 14 fruit trees in our ground. Whew. And we need good. six more. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll give us even 20. It will. So, that'll give we us, have... Wait, that'll give us eight pear trees. Uh-huh. And then 12 apple trees. Right. Sweet. So, we hope to get those within the next week or so. We'll fill out the rest of our little rectangle that we've kind of plotted out and that'll be it for the fruit trees now remember we do have how many pecan trees nine so there's nine pecan trees we're gonna have to figure out a place for those and we'll show you guys when we plant those later but it'll um, be after the house is put in yeah it will it will we're not sure exactly which way they're moving the mobile home on their property it's supposed to be over there which is why we were safe doing this but anything else we need to wait a little bit longer so we probably should go ahead and pot those. Probably. I, it looked like these are pretty much bare root. Yep, bare root and like some kind of like a sawdust, sandy mixture so they don't dry out, So right. which is good. None of them looked dead to me. No, they all looked well. Good, cool. well. <laughs> they looked well. Well little trees. So I believe I now have down pat which varieties we have. We have from pears we have moon glow kefir and bartlett and then for apples we have honey crisp fuji gala and pink lady nice i knew i think i know about two of those but <laughs> that's cool that is really cool so these are all varieties that we normally eat so that will be oh. awesome well thanks for coming along as we started our orchard i'm so excited um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time on one of the homesteads. See ya. Bye. Elijah. Where are you I like going? my hat. I need my bike. No, you don't. Come on. We're trying our best to preserve them. So. Right. Um, that's it? Maybe. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, okay. that's it. See you guys. Press it again. Or, or okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. Homesteads. See ya. Bye. Until we're a little bit closer to the road up here. It is a little louder. That's but, okay. Okay, what, 20 foot between rows? Uh, yes. So 20, 40, 60. We're still about 80 feet from the road. Just closer than we're becoming acclimated to being 300 feet from the road. Yes. That's okay, though. <laughs>